Hey everyone, welcome back to another video wherein we'll talk about what happened in today's trade, what the data is looking like and also at the end I'll show you how you can make a screener on charting, right? Because 30 WMA is something that I keep telling you that uh, take a trade in those companies that are above 30 WMA, right? So how you can filter those stocks as, as well? We'll talk about that, right? So first we'll talk about the small cap index. So the small cap index went up today right it was up almost more than half a percent same with the mid cap index and the trend if you look at it right so the trend here it was kind of making a lower high lower low form thing right that has finally changed so it it moved up made a higher low and moved higher so it is trying to make a higher high higher low so that is a good thing as of now right and also if we kind of put draw a line here right so in that inverse so the head and shoulder pattern so chances are it can so it need not be exactly symmetrical it need not kind of start falling from this level itself this shoulder can be even higher but it shouldn't be higher than the head right so until and unless 16 686 is kind of not broken we can be sure that there is another head in the make uh, shoulder in the making right so if that is kind of taken out then this is invalid right so as of now another shoulder is in the process of being made but the good thing is the trend has now changed it is now making a higher high higher low and also if you look at the mid cap index it is also similar so even there it kind of ended at the highest point of the day right so that's a very good thing for the bulls so if you look at the data the data is also pretty good so although it is kind of a little lower than yesterday why i'm saying it's good is because usually the trend that i have seen is fridays the accumulation is kind of low so why does that happen new traders don't want to take a position before going into uh, weekend right and also uh, this time there is a holiday on monday as well right so usually during such cases they won't want to wait out the weekend and then take a new position once the new week begins but now because the accumulation has been pretty good uh, it gives us more confidence that this up move in the small and mid cap should continue right so this is about the indices and uh, for the next week there should be a bullish bias uh, things should move up right so although the whole uh, uh, electoral bond thing is now out of the way and now the data is good and even the closing was pretty good today looks like we should continue our up move in the coming week as well right so now we look at the charting thing so here in charting what we'll do we'll first add uh, these scanners so first first thing what we'll do we want to know which are the stocks that are above the 30 wma so how you'll do it so you'll go to close because that is the closing price right so closing price today should be greater than or equal to so you would want the 30 wma is nothing but the simple moving average for 150 days so what you'll do you'll type simple moving average right so simple moving average for 100 and 50 days right and then you run a scan so now if you go down and check there are almost 1129 stocks which are still above out of 5000 names that are listed in the market right there are around 20 percent of them which are still above the 30 wma that tells us they are still in an uptrend now the second thing is uh, we are really not interested let's say you're not really interested in mid caps or large caps then you can even put a market cap filter so what you'll do i want only market cap less than 10000 crores so that as well you can do here 10000 crores and run the scan so let's see uh, so 822 stocks are now there right so out of that let's say i don't want micro cap names below the 500 crore market cap then you can again say market cap show me only those which are greater than a number 
of 500 right so i'm not interested in playing micro caps and then you run the scan so now let's see how many names i'm popping out 409 so now what i'll do i will say save the scan and i'll kind of give it whatever name third above 30 wma small caps right so then here as well you can do the same thing above 30 wma sorry so this is not ema this should be wma right and then you submit right so now what it will show you is there is a chart that is built at the bottom of your screen correct so what does this chart tell you this chart kind of tells us how many names are kind of above this particular level that is the 30 wma which is important for us so in february when the data was not that great and this number which was like very good in september and all kind of started going lower right it was a cautious signal that the data is not that great and even stocks are below this particular level that means they are in for a correction so that is what happened you had a pretty decent correction and now now that things are start, starting to look up again this number is kind of moving up right so here fmcg so many names realty industrial so this kind of gives you an idea out of those 500 400 names right that we saw today how many of them are in which particular category right so this as well so you can download this and also click on which are the stocks and all of that so that can also be done so charting is actually a pretty uh, good website where you can do all this and kind of figure out which are the great quality stocks not quality stocks that are fulfilling all your technical conditions right you can even put um, the fundamentals as well right you can uh, go for roc and things like that so that will also kind of filter even great fundamentally great qualities along with great technicals so it kind of helps you uh, not waste too much time just looking at the charts because this will kind of give you the names then probably you can look at the chart for example e mudra is there right so if i click on it here itself it will show me the chart of that right so that also kind of helps so you, if you want you can put daily or weekly whatever it is right so then that also kind of helps you understand this particular thing and if you want moving averages you can keep it remove it even the takeout just look at the rsi right so this is actually a pretty good scanner and hopefully you will also find it interesting right yeah so see you again in another video probably on tuesday right thank you